How's it going, reef keepers? Just wanted to discuss the growth of coral and algae. So recently I've had some people asking me, you know, how, how do you grow so much coral and algae? Um, you know, how long did it take to grow it? Do you think your calc wasser uh, dosing has anything to do with it? I don't really know. So the title of this, uh, this video is a little misleading. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what causes my tank to grow coral and algae in such significant amounts, but make no mistake, I this this particular system grows coral and algae in more abundance and at a faster rate than any I have so far, you know, kept. So you can see the rock is just completely covered. Even areas of the rock that are shaded have coral and algae that's grown over them. The seams, which I'm terrified of, of ever uh, taking my scraper and, and nicking one of the seams, so I don't, I don't really aggressively go up against the seams. You can see, I mean, this I knocked back, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and you can see the new growth, like almost like a tree ring. Um, it's unbelievable how fast this stuff grows, and where I can't reach all along the back, that's all coralline, covered with a fine layer of algae, and then I've got coralline all up and down this. And these pumps, you know, I've got coral and growing on those already. And I cleaned those off a month ago. So here's what I'm doing. And if you, if you want, I, I get the sense that some people want more coral and growth. And it is beautiful on your rock work. I'll say this, it's a double-edged sword. Like, you know, it's beautiful on the one hand, especially on your rock work. But once it starts to really grow, 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 you get to a point where it's a bit of a plague and you're like part of your maintenance routine every week is like knocking it back and keeping it in check. So, you know, keep in mind if you're really wanting it just understand like, you know, there are some drawbacks that come with the territory. But what I'm doing overall on this tank, I've got uh, calc wasser as the foundation of my dosing. So I dose 2200 milliliters of, of calc saturated water a day, uh, just below my evaporation rate for the tank. And then I've got uh, just bulk reef supply, standard, um, you know, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium dosing on top of it, which is pretty minimal. Um, I'm using bulk reef supply, calcwasser, if that matters. I don't think it does. And then uh, I basically keep my levels of supplements in the tank around what the ocean is from what I've looked up online. So I keep my um, my alkalinity at like, you know, 8 to 8.5. I keep my calcium at 425 and I keep my magnesium slightly elevated because there's some evidence that certain corals like a slight elevation in magnesium. So that's around 1400. Um, but I have an auto water tester on the tank that automatically adjusts the dosing. So like it's always right around these parameters. Um, and then also I do a daily water change with an automatic water change system of a gallon and a half. So I'm, and I, I'm using, I had this coral and growth when I used my old salt, which was the Fritz Blue Box. Um, and I've sw since switched to Aquaforest Reef Salt, just the standard Aquaforest. And that mix is a lot clearer. There's a lot less uh, detritus left over in my mixing barrel when I'm done, um, whatever that's worth. But I, I don't think there's, the salt has anything to do with it. Um, but I also, I also keep a very, very regimented, militant um, maintenance routine. So I'm always like every week I'm, I'm scrubbing out my mechanical filtration. I'm emptying my filter cup before it gets to the halfway point multiple times a week, um, taking out all elements of mechanical filtration and washing them out once a week. Um, you know, I've got uh, biological filtration in the form of a marine pure block, a giant one that I keep in my sump. Um, and so the water is as clean as it's going to get without me probably installing like a filter roller, doing something I'm not interested in doing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I guess maybe a combination of, you know, being super militant about cleaning, um, super militant in my maintenance routine. And then, uh, you know, having my supplement levels mimic the ocean and be super stable. And then for lighting I've got on this tank, um, you know, Ecotech G6 XR15s, three of them. So, I mean, they're a good light. I had coral and growth that was pretty strong using um, aqua illumination lights on my last system. 
that was like my main system. So, I, you know, it wasn't as strong as this, but whatever. Um, and then the rock I'm using is um, premium Marco rock. And I didn't get the kind that was spray painted, you know, purple or pink beforehand. This is just, you know, this, this was white rock that's since been completely covered in Coraline. So anyhow, some of you guys seemed, you know, to really be curious about it. And I just wanted to make a short video just telling you guys, here's what, here's what I think. Here's what it, you know, it might be, which I can't really speculate. It could be many things that cause such, you know, robust Coraline growth, but yeah, there's no denying I get I get plenty of coral and growth. <laughs> so, all right, thanks. And uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe.